Hi guys, I thought I'd just do a quick video of a restoration project I'm just about to start. Um, it's of a Suffolk Super Punch 17 inch uh, 98cc engine. Although it says Suffolk Super Punch on the grass box, which I believe is correct, on the chain case cover it states Professional Suffolk Super Punch, which I believe the Professional was a 10 bladed cylinder mower used for bowling greens uh, on the cricket pitches etc for all fine turf sports things so it looks like at some point the chain case may have been changed um, probably dented split wouldn't refit probably went for a service um, the service agents probably had a scrap machine uh, swapped it over. As you can see this is the six bladed version which I believe is correct. A bit of a mystery with the fuel tank. I don't recall them ever having a fuel tank on the handle with this particular style. I've always remember them as being on top of the cowling. You can see the bolts where it should be fitted. Obviously it's had a leak or damage uh, and it's been slightly converted which isn't a problem I know but I want to for the restoration of this I want to put it back to what it should have been when it was new. It's got the micro set adjuster for the rollers um, as opposed to the two brackets left and right and you have to adjust them equally. However the rollers I don't believe are the correct ones. Uh, I believe they should have been wooden. I can't remember if it was a two piece or three piece that I can't remember. I was a mechanic in the 80s um, but obviously a lot of the things like that I just can't remember these days so we'll need to uh, go back to the uh, a few photos. One other thing which is noticeable is the oil recommendations. This one is on a sticker however from what I can remember some Suffolk had a tin plate with it on which had slots cut into the cowling and then the tin plate uh, fitted with the corners bent over into the cowling um, so I probably believe this is the correct one and the stickers may have been the original older version uh, this like I say is a 17 inch it's got a aluminium ribbed roller some had the tin roller I can't remember if the, t the tin roller is one piece or two but this is a two piece one which is good don't have a problem with that um, the static plate for the electrics will have to be replaced providing we can find another one on an old scrap one as you can see there it's got a broken bolt hole and there's two lectures like that so the recoil when you go to pull it is flopping everywhere um, so yeah so that will have to be replaced grass box I believe is original now on the exhaust um, they usually used to, in this style, would have been the round pot type, uh, like a little round tube uh, with the silencer on it. So this obviously has been replaced at some point. When I was in the trade, you used to have either garfits or central spares supplied the these, as well as obviously cool cast um, Suffolk. Um, so yeah, it looks like that's been replaced. The air cleaner looks original for its age, as opposed to the ones that go the other way and a bit flatter. Uh, carburetor looks intact and okay. Um, it's going to have a full restoration on here. Um, I was going to just clean it up with diesel and WD-40, but do a mechanical restoration. But if you look closely here, there are two shades of green. And I have seen another shade, so it's obviously been painted over the time, three times at least. So the plan is to keep the cylinder red for danger, as we always used to say in the trade. Uh, green for the bodywork, orange cowling and the orange handles. Uh, the recoil is of the older version, the alley, which looks correct. However, it has got the plastic insert as a guard which is not correct and that's off the later versions of uh, Suffolk Coolcast um, so we'll have to just try and hunt one of those with the mesh guard that would go around there stop the grass going in um, so that needs replacing 
Um, that's the adjusters there for your cylinder. It doesn't seem to be seized. Uh, the engine is a non-runner, not been run for quite a few years. Uh, I've done a compression test, uh, 30 psi or just over. These engines were low compression, so probably that is enough to get a fire in. However, if we can locate the replacement parts, we will be replacing what we can. If anyone's good at dating these engines, which I'm not, the engine number is 114050. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of touch with all that now. When I bought them a little while ago, it came with a manual. However, it's the wrong one. That's the Colt motor mower, which is the 12 inch version. Same style. Um, also, when I was in the trade, I did get hold of, which is not very good in condition and unreadable now, is the original workshop manual for these um, it would give you all your tolerances all your settings everything you need to know unfortunately as you can see it's got damp and wet tied your stuff together and now it's absolutely no good whatsoever if anyone's got a copy of this i know they are few and far between um, it'd be great to get another copy i'd be happy to uh, meet somebody halfway or whatever uh, to obtain one but i don't think it's going to happen but you never know, it's worth an ask. Um, there's not a lot more I can say on this particular mower at the moment. I'm going to do more videos. They will be short videos um, as I go through the restoration. I don't get a lot of time, so they, they won't be regular. But there again, depends on what time I've got. You might get two one week and then nothing for a little while. Um, lots of photos to come if you like what you see obviously like and subscribe we love to hear from anybody that can help in any way if anyone's got good memories of these old machines it'd be great to hear from you um yeah absolutely any comments feel free to put them in i welcome them all um and we look forward to uh posting more videos very very soon okay thanks for watching uh keep your eyes peeled there'll be more to follow thank you Goodbye.